Hello there. I'm going to try and show you um, how I play Tam Lin, um, the Glasgow Reel. I'm going to try and show you the way that I sort of do the, the fingering on, on the fingerboard so that you can see exactly how it's done. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see from that, from that viewpoint. So the first thing is a slide on the G string up to the first note and then you cross over to the D string and then back to the G so I'm putting my middle finger down on the second note of the D string there so sliding up Okay, so you're almost halfway there. Um, the next note is that's the middle finger on the second note of the G string, and then you simply roll it across. You hold the your um, you hold the note on the G string, the second note on the G string, but you roll your middle finger across onto the second note of the D string. I uh, like that, so... The other note, of course, is the open D. And then you bring down your ring finger onto the third note of the G string. And the first finger is on the um, D string there, in on the first note. Roll your ring finger uh, note across the third note on the G string. You you roll your finger over to the third note on the D string. It's quite tough to do that. Start from the top again. finishing part so from the top that is not easy to do no way. It's quite difficult to do and it requires quite a bit of practice, particularly that rolling across from holding down that third note with the ring finger and then the first note on the D string and then rolling the ring finger across, holding the whole thing in that position. That is not easy to do. But if you practice and practice on that, it will come eventually. between the two strings and, and, and pushing the, um, the rhythm of the tune uh, by using the bow to sort of... It's like one long note and then lots of shorter notes. It's like a stepping up. You can hear the, the tune actually going... Like a bass part and then there's this the other notes following on behind so 
So you've got to get that rocking motion into your bowing. And um, it, that does impart the rhythm. And then the B section of the tune is this. So I'll go a bit slower. I'm starting on the A string. Dropping down to the D string. Back up to the A. D string. G string. And on to the D string, of course. So from the top, and I'll go as slow as I possibly can. notes there they are the same on the A string as they are on the D string and all it is is I played that slow enough for you to be able to pick up what, what I was actually playing there. But that in essence is the tune. Um, wonderful tune, very popular obviously. Um, let's, I hope this video is useful to you in trying to work out what on earth to play on this tune. I think the secret is don't go too quickly at first. Just learn to play it slowly and then gradually the speed will pick up. Um, so that's what I'll do. I'll play the tune slowly.
I was trying to avoid the dodgy note at the end if I were you. <laughs> anyway, I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Um, see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Ha, ha, ha.